If you're struggling to manage your tasks in Microsoft Teams, you're not alone because every day we're given tasks from Microsoft Teams chat, channels and more. And is there a way that we can bring it all together and make your planning and task management much easier when it comes to using Teams? And I believe that you absolutely can. We can actually use some of the new planner capability by the Planner app and also allocate tasks directly through Planner and Microsoft To Do using the new Microsoft Planner experiences. Alongside that, you don't even need a team to create a new task list to collaborate with your colleagues. Using Microsoft Loop, that becomes possible. But the big question is, how does all of this work? And don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through how to get this up and running quickly in real life scenarios. And before we dive in, I'd love it if you hit that like button to let me know this content has worked for you. And also hit that subscribe button because there's a huge range of content on this channel that has been created to allow you to use the tools that you have in much better ways. And on that, let's dive into Microsoft Teams and find out how you can manage tasks in better ways. So here we are inside the Microsoft Teams. And a lot of the capability today that we're gonna see is driven using the new Planner app. And that app was once known as Tasks by Planner and To-Do. So you may expect by going in the free dot menu on the left hand side of Teams, you can go ahead and search for the word tasks. As you can see, there is no such app available inside of the Teams app store. In fact, this has now been rebranded. It's now known as Planner. That's a new name for the new tasks experience in Microsoft 365, covering Microsoft To Do, Planner and Planner Premium. Let's go ahead by left clicking this app we'll see the new Teams experience and the new Teams Planner app available to us. And before we dive in and add this into some of our Teams, let's give a rundown about what we can see on our screen. Because in this new app, the first thing you'd like to probably do is pin it to use it later. The easiest way is to right click the Planner icon in the left hand side navigation bar. And once you right click, you can go ahead and select Pin. That's now pinned on the left hand side of Teams so when you reopen Teams, it will also show the new Planner app. And we can also see inside of this app here that we have a range of tasks from different plans. Here is a list of all of my tasks. They're both coming from Loop Task Lists and Planner as well as also from Microsoft To Do. But Microsoft To Do is now shown as private tasks. All of these tasks here are coming from Microsoft To Do. Anything assigned to me is also coming from my Loop Task List and any Microsoft Planner plans. We can see this because we can see the plan names under the plan itself. And we can access any task by clicking on the eye icon on a single task and it appears here. We can make changes and they synchronize back to Microsoft Planner, Loop and Microsoft To Do. It's just a simple home that gives all of your tasks a place to live. By coming out of here, we can also see any flagged emails that happen within your Outlook. Once again, click on the eye icon. We can even see information relating to the email itself. We can left click and open that directly inside of a web browser tab. It takes us straight back to that email from Microsoft Outlook. And of course, these tasks are great, but there's also ability to get to any of your existing plans. By clicking on my plans, you'll see them all inside of your app. You can go ahead and open any of these plans by left clicking into them. It'll take you straight into the Microsoft Planner, regardless of the team it's actually stored in. It's a simple way to get back to tasks and your plans really easily in one single dialog that you can see here. Not only that, they also include Loop plans, Planner Premium plans as well as Microsoft Planner plans. And you can also click through these using the top navigation bar and even see all plans assigned to a single team. So again, a simple way to get back to all of your plans. Your My Day will also include any tasks that are due today, giving you a view of what needs to be done and you can keep on top of during your day. And all of this is great capability, but we wanna do more with our tasks inside the teams. And sure, this provides a lot of that capability, but how about considering Microsoft Team? Let's go ahead into one of my teams and we'll head into the sales and marketing team that we've created and we need a way to track work as our team. Now what we can easily do is create a planner directly from our team. 
By clicking on the plus icon at the top of the screen, we can now add apps into Teams. Once again, you may feel that you know this already. Let's go ahead and type in the word Tasks because the old app was called Tasks by Planner and To Do. But sadly, no hits. Once again, this has also been renamed. It's now named Planner, aligning to the left-hand app inside of Teams. By selecting Planner, we now have a choice. We can create a brand new plan, or we can add one that we may have created earlier assigned to our team. In most cases, you'll be creating a brand new plan. Let's go ahead and overtype tasks and give it more of a personal name so we can easily find it later in apps like Microsoft Planner and from our Planner dashboard inside of the Planner app. And I've simply called it the Sales and Marketing Plan. I'm not going to post to the channel about this tab. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. And now we have a Microsoft Planner available to us inside of the team you work with. It even synchronizes the security of your team to the plan, meaning we can easily go in and add a task to one of your colleagues that already has access to your Microsoft team. You now have a shared plan in your team that you can access really easily in your team. But remembering that if you need access to it centrally, you can go back into the Planner app on the left-hand side and you'll find any task generated in that plan. Or also click into My Plans you can also then select the sales and marketing plan to get right back to it without going anywhere near the team, which works really well. Before we dive into the next section, I'd love to share something exciting with you. Because if you love our video tutorials and are struggling with task management, you're going to love our new on-demand masterclass to master task management in Microsoft 365, where I take you through a number of video tutorials to cover how to use the apps like Microsoft Lists, Planner, Planner Premium, and also Microsoft Teams to master task management for you to work in better ways. And why sign up? Well, task management is the cornerstone of productivity. Being more productive means we have more time to focus on the more important things in life. And that's not all. If you want to check out something free, you can go and download our Microsoft 365 ebook I've created that with tons of tips and tricks to use the apps that you have access to in much better ways. You can find that using a link below. Otherwise, let's dive back in to task management in Teams and uncover some more great capabilities. But what about tasks inside of your Teams? Chat and posts, well, they're a typical place that you're gonna have tasks generated from. And we always forget about those because there's no real way to track them right. Well, in this case, in my sales and marketing team, I also have this post here, which relates to some swag at one of our upcoming events. What I can now do is click on the free dot menu, and then I can go and select create task in this sub menu. When I then do that, the new planner app will open, allowing us to create a task from this message. What it also does is capture the information relating to the message. Okay, it shows hi here, which I'm gonna over type and put swag for conference. Once I've then done that here, I can consider where this should live. Now, as you can see, I can create it in private tasks, meaning my own personal to-do list to catch up with later, ideal if it's a task only for you. But our sales and marketing team, I would like to catch this so the team's aware of it and also assign others. So in the drop down, let's go ahead and open that. And in here, let's go ahead and look for our sales and marketing plan as we can see here. We can now give it the bucket inside a planner. We can set a progress and even due date. Let's go ahead and mark this for the end of the week and mark it as being in progress. And then when we're ready to go, we can also assign this to someone in the team. Let's assign it to myself as I'm logged into Alex and also Adele that's also supporting our conference. I'm also going to leave it to post a reply about this task so everyone knows it's been transformed into a planner task. With that done, go ahead and click on add task. And we'll now see in the thread of our post inside of the team that gets added as well as also allocated to the task in our planner. And there we go, a task has been created. By selecting view details, it once again in Teams takes you straight back to that planner task through the Microsoft planner app that we added earlier information, we can then add further checklists, comments and more, and even go ahead and close off this task. But as it's powered by a planner, 
Of course, we can go back into the sales and marketing team and we can also see it appearing in our Microsoft plan. So it's a real powerful way to take a post inside of one of your teams and then attach it into a plan, align into your team and allocate it so it can be tracked and even have assignments from it. And what about personal tasks? Because we saw an example of a shared task being created from a shared Microsoft team. Here's a message I've received from a few people on Teams. And Christine has mentioned that there's now Power App Design request that's come through. Actually, that's more associated to me. I need it on my own private task to get working on. What we can easily do once again is highlight the message and click the free dot menu. Select create task in the sub menu once again, and now we can go ahead and create a task. Sure, we could click in the drop down and allocate it into one of our shared planners, but I don't want to do that. I want to add it in my own private task, i.e. Microsoft to do. We can therefore place a due date that's going to be due in a few days time and select add task. It'll now be created in my personal task list that can be accessed using Microsoft to do, but equally head back into the planner app and check out my tasks under private tasks at the top. And here we'll see the task sitting right under my task. It's been generated as a private task. So we've taken a task submitted by a chat message, put it into a private task that only I can see, and now I get assignments, reminders and more to catch up on that work and keep it in one single place. But let's not also forget that Microsoft Teams are great, but we don't always use Teams to track tasks. In fact, you may have group conversations with your colleagues that you need to also keep on top of. And here's that exact conversation where I had a private task actually generated from. What I'd like to do is generate something a little bit more shared across us all. In this conversation, I have Christine, Irvin, and also Joanna and a few of my colleagues. What I can easily do is go to the top and we can rename a group chat to give it something a little bit more relevant that me and my colleagues will also see inside of Teams. Let's go ahead and update this group name. With that done, we can go ahead and click on save and we now see Power App Developers as our new group chat conversation name. I can even change the profile picture to something more relevant using a range of different icons or even a personal image. Once that has now been done, we have this area that we can now begin collaborating in. But ultimately, we need to create a task list and this is not assigned to a Microsoft team, right? So how are we gonna do that? Well, here's where we can use Microsoft Loop because at the bottom of our group chat, we have a loop icon. Left click and now go ahead and select task list. And now we'll have one generated using the power of Microsoft Loop and Planner combined. Let's go ahead and give this a title. With that now done, let's add a few tasks into our plan. With our task list now updated, we've got a couple of tasks in here that I've allocated to some of my colleagues inside of our group chat. And of course, what we can now do is click on the send button. And what we'll now find is that actual task list is able to be edited by everyone inside of this group chat. They can easily go in and check off tasks as they get done, or provide other updates or more, which is great capability. We can even use a new detail view inside of our tasks by left clicking open detail view. We can see more information on this task and so forth. But of course, where is this hosted? Well, in the top right, we'll see the button for task apps. By left clicking, we can open inside a planner. And here now we'll see that creating our loop task list generated a new Microsoft planner, but we didn't need a Microsoft team to achieve it. And it's also shared with the members of our group chat, meaning we can allocate tasks and more. So that's a simple way there that we can create a task list outside of a team shared with others using the power of loop and planner and create an area to store tasks inside of Microsoft Teams. And there you have it. We've now looked at Microsoft Teams and the capabilities in Microsoft Planner, bringing those together, providing new experiences to manage your tasks. And the thing is, well, you can take any of these areas and apply them in the way that you work and also share them with your team to find better ways to work with the tools that you already have. And of course, I'd love it if you hit that like button to let me know that this video has worked for you. And also, if you have a question or a topic that you'd like to be covered in an upcoming video, let me know in the comments. It's always great to hear from you, our community, and how we can help you in the future. And of course, as I always say, hit the subscribe button because it helps you 
Find more great content like this to help you use the tools you have in much better ways. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.